I'd like to start this afternoon by saying that most of my material comes from the Personal Evangelism Training Guide given out by Emanuel Institute. I'd also like to start by asking you, how many of you believe in Jesus Christ? Yeah, okay, all of us, right? Me too. Um, and you've all heard about the Great Commission, right? Where Jesus says in Matthew 28, go into the world making disciples of all men. We've heard this since we were young, right? Jesus told this to his disciples, but it also applies to us. We can read in Desire of Ages, where Ellen White says, The Savior's commission to the disciples included all the believers. It includes all brethren, all believers in Christ to the end of time. So that means us, right? Time hasn't ended. I still have, what, like four minutes left on my speech? So time is still going on. We're believers, and we are called to be to be giving this commission, to live this commission of making disciples. Just like we have a great speaker, Mark Finley, he says, witnessing is not a spiritual gift, it's not something just given to some people. He says, it is a calling that God gives to each believer. So you are called, I am called. But how do we do this? I mean, I haven't gone to seminary, I'm guessing you guys haven't gone to seminary. Um, we're not pastors. How is it that I can win a soul? Christ gives a beautiful example of this one-on-one -on -one sort of evangelism in Matthew chapter 13, verses 3 to 8. If you like, you can open your Bibles with me if you have them. But if not, I know you know the story. It's the parable of the sower. So I'll just go over it briefly. Here we see a man going out and sowing seed, and he puts it in different places, different kinds of ground, right? And some of it grows, some of it grows and then dies, and then some of it doesn't come up at all. What kind of ground did the seed fall on when it grew? Good, good ground, right? Soft. Like when you're planting, this kind of ground isn't like what you find right outside. You don't go outside and drop a seed and it grows. You have to prepare the soil. And it's the same with people. The first step in soul winning is preparing their hearts. We can do this through building relationships, asking them to help us so that they see that we trust them, helping them giving people a smile as you pass them and cross the street. Like, little things that connect you with people, these are things that prepare the soil. The next thing is we have to sow the seed. It doesn't do any good to prepare the soil if you don't put a seed in the ground. You're not going to get any harvest. So we must share the truth with people. It's not enough to just, you know, be a nice person. We have to bring the truth to them. Because otherwise, how do they know? And then when we bring it to them, like, when you drop the seed in the ground, you can't leave it there. You must cultivate it. That means watering it and making sure it has sunshine if it's a plant. If it's a person, that means praying for them, being sure to help them, to assist them, to answer their questions, to bring them to the source that can answer their questions. And after that, by God's grace, there's the harvest. Then they make that truth that you've given them, that God has given them. They make it their own. And that's wonderful. But... Can we leave it there after that fourth step of harvest? Is that where we leave it? No. We've been talking about picking blueberries and using that as an analogy of witnessing. If you picked the blueberries and you put them in a bucket and you left them, you would just end up with moldy blueberries, right? You wouldn't get anything good out of them. You must preserve the fruit that is gained. And you must save seed to produce more fruit in the next season. And that's what I think is key about evangelism. It's this cycle. It's not a one-day event. It's not a one-time, one-person event. It's a cycle. Once someone comes in, then they become a sower. The fruit goes forth and produces seed. That, that's basically what I want to share with you today, that being, being a disciple of Christ, a believer of Christ, is a lifestyle that includes... So soil preparation, sowing seed, cultivation, harvest, and not only that, but preservation. And that preservation starts to cycle all over again of replanting seeds. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you very much. <laughs>